Hi everyone, I'm Rox Lang from GeekBar. Today, we're going to present you a whole new program named GeekBar Pro Lecture. This program is aiming to share GeekBar iPhone repair experiences and skills to at the peers of industry. Okay, let's get straight to the point. This time, I will share with you a real case study of the iPhone 8 power charging failure. Recently, GeekBar have received a problematic iPhone from people in the same line. After the quick review, we did a simple troubleshooting test for the cell phone. Then, to replace a new battery and charging connector in order to exclude the possible failure of external accessories. After we replace a new battery and charging connector at that time, we run the test again. The iPhone still couldn't be charged and charging symbol had vanished. The should be 88% volume battery appeared to be only 1%. and there is instant vibration feedback on the connection. Though if iPhone 8 has added a few functions, so we test the function of wireless charging instead. And the results proved that wireless charging function can't work either, accompanied with the familiar instant vibration feedback. In addition to the above two charging modes, there is also a power off charging mode, based on our previous iPhone maintenance experience. Therefore, GeekBar turned off the phone and made it be charging. Then we found the peak current can reach 900 milliamps more than the supply current after the boot of 100 to 300 milliamps only. In this case, it can be explained that the iPhone has recognized the charging signal. In the meanwhile, we connected the problematic iPhone with iTunes in sync and found that the USB circuit was fine. Since we have used the intact battery and charging connector to exclude the possibility caused by external accessories. According to the above situation, we can basically conclude that the main reason of this problem should be the battery detection circuit in the motherboard. Through the analysis by the circuit diagram, GeekVar noted that the iPhone 8 battery detection circuit consists on the battery connection J3200, failed effect tube Q3200. Q3201, electro resistance, R3202, R3201, and A11 processor U1000. However, there was a new major change of the iPhone 8 battery detection circuit, which was I2C bus protocol. Then we used the oscilloscope to detect the problematic iPhone and connect the oscilloscope's two channel thermocouples to the battery attachment interface pin number 2 and number 3. Through the oscilloscope waveform contrast, we found that the measured I2C clock waveform at pin number 3 of the battery interface was unusual. According to the waveform above, we can conclude that the problem appeared in this line. Next, we connected the two channel thermocouples of the oscilloscope to the resistors R3202 and R3201. As expected, we found that the waveform of the I2C clock is normal through the oscilloscope. Through the waveform measurement of the oscilloscope, the problem of the iPhone was diagnosed as FETQ3201 damage. Therefore, the I2C clock signal sent by the controller device cannot be normally transmitted to the control device. So, we replace the Q3201, retest the phone, charge it with wire, the charging symbol came back, and the battery volume is shown as normal 88%. Then we test wireless charging function, at this time, the function also worked well. Okay, above all, this was the whole diagnosis and test procedure of the iPhone 8 problem solution. At most, 10 minutes to accurately diagnose the iPhone key problem is GeekBar Pro Lecture's aim and vision. For more practical maintenance cases, please enable the WeChat on the top right corner, click the plus sign, and choose to add WeChat official accounts. Type GeekBar and search, subscribe to the GeekBar WeChat official accounts. See you next time. Bye.